Section 21.2 uh, of Young and Friedman's University Physics continues the discussion of electric charge, this time by talking about uh, conductors and insulators as well as induction. A conductor, as you probably know, is, when an, uh, is a kind of material in which electric charge moves easily from one part to another. We think of metals, for example, as being uh, usually pretty good conductors. By contrast, an insulator is a kind of material where electric charge does not move very easily within the material. Um, and so, you know, the rubber on your tires uh, helps keep your car from uh, lightning and, and so forth. Um, uh, whereas a lightning rod uh, is a kind of conductor that gives lightning an e easy path to the ground. And so a conductor is a kind of material in which electric charge travels uh, easily and the insulator is one in which it doesn't. Um, now, uh, completely diluted water, pure water is actually an insulator. But ordinary water usually has minerals and other things in it and is a good conductor. So you don't want to be stepping in water um, if there's electricity, uh, like if there's a downed power line, you don't want to be stepping in a puddle uh, because that's, that water is going to be a good conductor. But pure water is not. It's, it's more of an insulator. Um, induction uh, is when you use a, a charge on one body uh, to give charge to another body uh, without the initial uh, charged body losing any of its charge. This is called an induced charge. Um, and it, it, uh, one way to do it is by polarization. In the example that Young and Friedman give, a charged body is brought near another charge uh, uh, by a, say, take a metal ball that has uh, a negative charge on it. If you bring that close to another uh, metal ball, what's going to happen is is the electrons close to the negatively charged thing are going to be repelled to the other side, and so you end up with with within within that other metal ball uh, a shifting of charge, a polarization, with one side being more positive, that is the side by the the negatively charged ball, and then the 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 electric the electrons will shift to the other side of the of the metal ball you put it near. And if you were to if you were to put a wire on that other side uh, and put it to the ground, those electrons would escape the other metal ball. Then, if you detach that metal wire, you would end up with uh, another metal ball that has more of a positive charge. That giving of a charge to another body uh, in that way is called induction, and that is what the second section of Chapter 21 in Young and Friedman uh, talk about: conductors, insulators, and induction.